morning students today we are going to learn question and answers from chapter 2 so the chapter is food and health let us begin with first question tick the correct answer and first in that list is to stay healthy our body needs what does our body need a balanced diet books bread only milk what do you think is the correct answer right we need a balanced diet so let us take my balanced diet next question which of the following is non communicable disease i repeat which of the following is non communicable disease and the options are chicken pox beriberi common cold measles the correct answer in this is beriberi so let us take my beriberi third question this disease is caused by virus typhoid malaria meningitis chicken pox what is the correct answer right chicken pox is the correct answer fourth question the spread of communicable disease can be prevented by the options are spitting coughing keeping clean having medicines what is the correct answer right keeping clean is a correct answer vaccination can protect against diseases like polio measles and dash aids malaria mumps fever what is the correct answer right mumps so let us take mark mumps then sixth question lack of vitamin a leads to which disease rickets anemia night blindedness heart disease what is the correct answer right night blindedness is a correct answer so let us take mark night blindedness okay b complete the table on one side we have nutrients and on another side we have founding so we have to tell which nutrients are present in which food materials okay so first is carbohydrates carbohydrates are found in cereals so let us take mark cereals pulses sweet potato sugar okay so these are the food materials in which carbohydrates are found then let us see proteins are found in which food materials proteins are found in milk eggs meat pulses vitamin a is found in cheese eggs fish milk then vitamin c is found in lemon strawberries oranges guavas iron is found in meat nuts beans and liver okay so these are the different food materials in which you find different nutrients okay students so let us see match the columns now in one column we have nutrients while in other column we have deficiency diseases and over here we have symptoms of diseases the deficiency disease caused because of vitamin a is night blindedness symptoms of diseases are patient cannot see in dim light okay whereas vitamin b1 the deficiency disease is beriberi and symptoms are it affects the nervous system vitamin c the deficiency disease is scurvy and symptoms of diseases are bleeding comes vitamin d we have rickets bone becomes soft whereas iodine the deficiency disease is quite a, a gland in the neck region swells up i don't know if you have seen this the people who have got uh, the neck is swollen okay so this is the deficiency disease and symptoms of diseases in match the columns now let us see fill in the blanks first is our body needs dash protection from diseases regular exercise and dash to keep fit then second is our food should have enough dash to get rid of undigested food and third is we must play dash games to keep our body fit now fourth is dash and dash are caused by bacteria and fifth is dash is a virus that attacks the immune system of the patient and leads to death so what are the answers our body needs a balanced diet protection from diseases regular exercise and enough rest to keep fit our body should have enough roughage to get rid of undigested food 
we must play outdoor games to keep our body fit. Then plague and typhoid are caused by bacteria. HIV is a virus that attacks the immune system of the patient and leads to death. Right short answers. What is a deficiency disease? Let us see the answer. Disease caused by deficiency of certain minerals or vitamins in the body is called deficiency disease. Okay, so when certain minerals or vitamins are not there in our body, they are absent in our body, then we call that as deficiency disease. Second question, name a disease caused by the lack of iron in food and the answer is anemia is caused by lack of iron in food. What is the name of the disease? Anemia. Okay, let us see third question. What is communicable disease? And the answer is communicable disease are disease that can be passed from one person to another. So what are communicable disease? Disease that can be passed from one person to another. Fourth question, which disease are caused by eating contaminated food? And the answer is disease like typhoid, cholera, diarrhea, polio and jaundice spread by eating contaminated food. Okay, so these are the diseases that are caused because of contaminated food. Fifth question, name three diseases for which you have been vaccinated. Well, most of us in India, we have been vaccinated by BCG, okay, which is against tuberculosis, then HEPB, which is against hepatitis B, and polio, which is against polio virus. Now comes the long question answers. How do houseflies spread disease? Here you have to write, houseflies carry harmful germs from sewers and dirty places. When they get in contact with the food kept in open, they contaminate it and thus spread diseases. Second question, what precautions would you take to check the spread of malaria? Well, we should make efforts to prevent breeding of germs, destruction of mosquitoes and the breeding grounds can be done to control the spread of malaria okay so what we can do is if we destruct the breeding grounds that will decrease the population of this particular insects which we call as mosquitoes and thus it will control malaria also third question explain two ways of controlling communicable diseases okay so here you can write the floor and the walls of the room must be sprayed with disinfectant then children suffering from any communicable disease should stay away from school till they are fully recovered and we should make efforts to prevent the breeding of germs okay again here this point is that breeding of germs should be controlled okay of course and it should be spread with a disinfectant and the children who suffers from communicable disease should stay at home okay until he is fully recovered fourth question which steps would you take to prevent the spread of germs from sick person? Here you will write, germs of certain diseases stay on articles like clothes, combs, towels, toys used by the patient. All such articles including linen and clothing must be disinfected. Very important. They should be disinfected or boiled to kill the germs. Also the floor and the walls of the room must be sprayed with a disinfectant okay so this should be done to prevent the germs from a sick person let us see fifth question what is meant by pasteurization of milk the answer is the germs in the milk are killed by pasteurization in this process milk is heated very important it is heated at a high temperature for at least half an hour okay so we should heat it for half an hour and then cool down quickly this kills harmful bacteria and the last question for the day raju has bleeding gums and swollen joints name the disease he is suffering from and what is the cause and remedy of this disease well you will write raju is suffering from scurvy scurvy is caused by deficiency of vitamin c bleeding of the gums and swelling of joints results from scurvy citrus fruits amla tomato, green leafy vegetables, potatoes, sprouted grains and pulses are rich in vitamin C. So with this we can prevent such diseases. Okay.
so if you have any questions feel free to ask you can put your questions in comment box thank you for attending this session see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye